So now we're working on animating each letter of our name and make it do a different form of animation. So we're going to go ahead and delete this spirit right here by right clicking and deleting. And we're going to go to new spirit and we're going to click letters of our names. And I have examples of my name in different letters, but I'm going to go ahead and just use the word name. And if you have a very long name, aren't you lucky? But um, you can shorten your name if you have, uh, let's say, your name was Annabelle and you wanted to use the word Anna as your name, that's fine. So you can shorten your name if it's a very, very long name. But um, if you have, you know, between seven, you know, nine letters, it's, it's okay. You it might take you a little bit longer, but it's more fun and you'll get very familiar with Scratch. So... You should be doing at least three letters of your name when you're doing this project. So I just need the letter E and then I would have spelled name. So I can just go ahead and click and move them around and you can see that I had to create a new spirit for each and every single one. So for each action that I want to do, I have to go ahead and do them under each of the letters. So if I wanted them to do all of the same thing, I would have to go underneath each uh, spirit and program the costume to move. So for N, I'm going to go ahead and use the when space is pressed, but I'm going to actually use my keyboard to do this. So when N is pressed, I'm going to maybe play a sound. And I can go to the sounds and I can uh, go and see all the list of different sounds that Scratch already has. So there's so many different options that you can have, and you could go ahead and pick an, a different instrument. We'll do that one. So when N is pressed, when I press N on my keyboard, that is what is heard. Okay, so if I want to go ahead and animate the letter A, I will use, when I type A on my keyboard, so when A is pressed, maybe we'll change the color uh, change the color effect by 25. So when I press A, the color will change each time I press A. So if I press N, my sound will be made. And A, the color will change. Uh, for M, we'll go ahead and when M is pressed, we can make it move. So we'll go to motion and maybe we'll make it go to, let's go, 20 steps. And then we'll get it to wait maybe half a second and then go back so then it stays in the same position. Wait maybe half a second or maybe even quicker, two seconds, and then we'll make it go back. So to do that, we'll go negative 20. So M. So if I go N, my sound is made A, my color changes M, it moves. And let's do something fun with E. We can even make E disappear if we wanted to. So we could go when E is pressed. We could go to looks and we could say hide. So we could make E disappear. If we wanted it to disappear for maybe half a second and then it'll show again. Then we'll go back to looks and bring up show. So when I press E, it will disappear for a half a second and then re reappear. So M will move, A will change colors, and N will play a sound. So if I wanted to go ahead and create a different backdrop for this, if I wanted to make it a different pr presentation, I could go to music and dance maybe. Let's create a nice little stage for the show that we're about to make. And if I wanted to go ahead and make this full screen to present my name animation, I would just go ahead and press the green flag and start animating my name. So you could just go ahead and continuously type your name on the keyboard and it will have different actions. And there's lots of creative things that you can do on Scratch to animate your name. You can go ahead and check out some of the videos that I've made to animate my name. And I'm really looking forward to seeing all the creative things that you're going to do with your name. So go ahead 
animate all the letters in your name and have some fun with Scratch and explore and get comfortable. And I'm really looking forward to seeing your projects.